Okay, changing the subject, worked exam questions for GCSE high level. This is essentially broken down into two sections. One section where we have the subject appearing only once in the question and then the question the higher questions, grade A questions where it appears twice. Okay, so rearranging this, uh, we start with r equals c over two pi. To get c on its own we need to this is divide by two pi, we need to times by two pi. So we times this by two pi we times that by 2 pi and that gives us uh, 2 pi r equals c which is a standard formula and we just need to write it so the c comes first um, make the t the subject so we need to take away the 4 doing the opposites just like we would if we were solving an equation and then we need to divide by the 3 to get down to 1 t so t T equals okay. I messed that up. Dull. Okay, we're going to make T the subject this time, so we need to take away the four, just like we would with an ordinary equation. We're trying to solve that move the 4 to the other side by taking it away, then move the 3 to the other side by dividing by it. So we're left with t equals s minus 4 over 3. So we rewrite it as s minus 4 over 3. I'm trying to make that s look like a f s, not a 5. Okay, next one. Make x the subject. Anything that's not with x to start with, we can just take away. So we're going to take the y over to the other side to get w minus y equals x over r. Always move anything that's not got the subject in to the other side by subtracting or adding to move it away. And now I need to undo the divide by r, so I need to times all of this by r. And we do that by putting the r in the front, and that gets rid of the r on the bottom, so x equals r w minus y. So that's one with a bracket in. Don't forget to put the bracket in before you multiply. You can't just multiply the W by R, you must multiply all of it. Okay, one well with the bracket in to start, we were trying to get this H on its own, so we need to multiply out the bracket. So we've got 2 times H, and then we've got 2 times minus Y, which is minus 2Y. And then we need to add 2Y to get 2H equals 7Y plus 3, and then we do divide by the 2. You could divide individually, but it's much easier just to leave it as 7y plus 3 over 2. Okay, our first one with a square in it. Um, first of all, we need to undo this divide by 5. Normally, we'd move the number on its own, but it's not on its own. It's got to divide by 5 there. So if we multiply by 5, all of this by 5, that gets rid of the 5 on the bottom. Multiply that by 5, gives us 5y. So we have uh, 5y equals x squared minus 49. And then we need to add the 49. Get 5y plus 49 equals x squared. And then to undo the square, we take the square root of both sides. So the square root of x squared is just x. So we've got x equals the square root of 5y plus 49. Making W the subject, another one with a sort of square, but this is actually the square root. Um, we want to make W, it's underneath the square root. So to get rid of the square root, we need to square it. Okay, so we need to square both sides. Now, it's quite tricky because 6x all squared is not 6x squared, it's 6 times 6, which is 36x squared. And then when I square this side, it just gets rid of the square root. And that's the major step there, that's the tricky bit. And then I just take away the y, give me 2w, and then I divide by 2, get w equals 36x squared minus y all over 2. Okay, now we're stepping up to the grade A questions. We've got y's in two places, so we need to get them all onto one side, and then we do we factorize to get them in one place. But to start with, we need to 
as always when we see anything with a bracket it's worth multiplying it out because that will give you a mark usually then I'm going to move the P over to that side by adding it then I'm going to move this over to the other side by taking it away and now I've got all the Y's on one side there are with other things but they are on one side so I've got 3Y minus HY so if I take the Y out of that by factorising in a bracket I'm left with well 3 times Y is 3Y and H times Y is HY and then I can just divide by 3 minus H I don't actually need a bracket there because there's one implied with that division line so y equals 2h plus p over 3 minus h okay that's a very common idea you have, end up having to divide the bracket over the other side okay make an extra subject again it's in two places more complications with the, the fraction bit here usually when we see a fraction we multiply by it multiply by the y multiply this by y to get rid of the fraction so W minus X, the Y's cancel there. Uh, we're going to keep, I'm not going to put a bracket in here, I'm going to multiply each bit by Y because I want to get the X's on its own. So Y times 2X is 2XY minus 3 times Y. I want to get the X's together, I'm going to bring the X's over to this side and take this over to that side. So I've got 2XY minus 3Y plus X. So I've added the X to both sides, now I'm going to add 3Y to both sides. Now I've got everything over this side apart from the things with x in. I can factorise out the x. What's left is the 2 and the y. What's left when I take one, an x out of there? Well, there's nothing left, but I need to have something there, so I can have a 1. It's 1 times x equals x. And now I need to divide by the brackets. And these, these are fairly, you know, once you've done a few they start to look the same each time and another one making y the subject times by this bottom first so we've got x lots of y minus 5 equals 2 plus 3y multiply out the bracket we've got xy minus 5x equals 2 plus 3y 5 times y, x times y is xy, and x times minus 5 is minus 5x. Then I need to get um, I need to get y's together, so I need to bring the y over to here. So I've got xy minus 3y. I take the 5x over the other side. I'm doing two things at the same time here, I don't normally do this when I'm showing stuff. So I'm adding the 5x to that side, and then I just factorize out the y get x and minus 3 and I've still got that on this side and then I divide by x minus 3 to get y equals 2 plus 5x over x minus 3 and another one times by times by the x minus 2 so I've got y lots of x minus 2 equals m, x, m plus x. I want to get the x's together so I need to multiply out y times x. Usually you should write these in alphabetical order. Always put the number in front of the letter when you're multiplying it out. I'll bring the x over to this side. Factorise out the x and divide by the y minus 1. Um, one thing to note that uh, if you do things in a slightly different order, you could have taken the x's over to this side and the m's over to this side, and what that effect will have is often just changing the sign. So you may have something like x equals minus 2y over 1 minus y or similarly minus 2y over minus y plus 1 they're all the same thing 
if I multiply the top and bottom by a negative one or that just changes the signs but it keeps the the, the answer actually the same.